The new glaive in Destiny 2 is changing the game. How's it going everyone, Tavius here, thanks so much for stopping by. On today's video I want to go over a Void Hunter glaive build that was suggested by one of you guys in the comment section. So if you'd like me to make a build video around a certain exotic weapon or armor you like, comment down below and let me know. As usual, we'll go over the aspects and fragments in detail for our new lights. We'll continue with our armor and armor mods and finish up with our weapons with a quick recap at the end. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider liking and subscribing to support the channel and without further delay, let's jump into the video. Let's begin with our super. For our super, we are going with Shadow Shot Mobius Quiver, but you can do Deadfall if that's more your thing. Reason I chose Mobius Quiver is because our exotic armor piece increases the damage of our super, but we'll get into that later in the video. We've also got Marksman Dodge, which reloads our weapon, our Smoke Bomb, and Vortex Grenade. Vortex Grenade comes in very useful because of its pooling mechanic, grouping enemies closer together for us to come in and finish them, which will get us super energy. Just give me a minute and I'll explain. Now, Suppressing Grenade is one of my favorites, but with this build you risk suppressing yourself with your own grenade since we will be up close to the enemy. So Vortex Grenade is definitely a better option for this build. For our aspects, first we have Vanishing Step. Dodging makes you invisible. This aspect also gives us two slots for our fragments, so now dodging reloads our equipped weapon and makes us invisible. Now our second aspect is Stylus Executioner. Defeating a weakened, suppressed or volatile target grants invisibility and true sight. This one also gives us two slots for fragments for a total of four. Trapper's Ambush, the third aspect option, is really good to make allies invisible and create a smoke cloud weakening enemies but it only gives you one fragment slot, so we won't be using it with this build. Now let's move on to the fragments. First we have the Echo of Persistence. Void buffs applied, Invisibility, Overshield and Devour have increased duration. The increase in duration is about 50%, so if your invisibility lasts 5 seconds, with this fragments it will last 7.5 seconds. Same with Devour and Overshield. Next up we have the Echo of Reprisal. Final blows when surrounded by combatants grant super energy. Great for low level enemies or when you group enemies together with your vortex grenade. Jump in and glaive them all for super energy. Our third fragment is the Echo of Instability. Defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to void weapons. Our glaive is void, unfortunately the glaive melee doesn't proc the volatile explosion, only when you shoot your glaive, but that's okay, we'll still get the most out of the glaive, just give me a minute here, I'll show you. Oh, but also remember that if you have a Void Heavy weapon, it will benefit from Volatile Rounds also, just like the Glaive. And for our last fragment, we are going with the Echo of Starvation. Picking up Orbs of Power grants Devour, which means healing, healing and grenade energy. We're going to be creating lots of Orbs of Power, and this fragment will grant us health when we need it the most, while surrounded by enemies. And that brings us to the armor and armor mods. On my helmet, I have a Glaive Ammo Finder. Then I have Harmonic Siphon. Rapid Void Weapon Final Blows create a Norva Power. Two rapid kills is all you need to spawn a Norva Power. And last we have the Well of Tenacity mod. Picking up a Void Elemental Well reduces the damage you take from combatants for a short period of time. We're going to be surrounded by enemies a lot with this Glaive build, so we need to be able to survive by going invisible, proc and devour, and taking less damage from enemies with this mod. For my arms, I went with an unstoppable pulse rifle for those lovely champions, then a glaive dexterity to be able to swap to my kinetic weapon faster when I run out of ammo or need to stun a champion. And last we have elemental ordnance, defeating a combatant with the vortex grenade spawns an elemental well, easy void elemental wells here. Moving on to the chest piece, we have a melee damage resistance, again we're going to be close to enemies a lot so we need this kind of protection. The next one is Thermoshock Plating, which reduces incoming solar and arc damage from combatants. And the last one is Elemental Armaments. Just by getting kills with our Void Glaive or a Void Heavy Weapon have an escalating chance to spawn Elemental Wells. Absolutely necessary. And this brings us to the legs. The star of the show, Star Eater Scales. The new Hunter Exotic legs released during Season of the Splicer. They're unlockable through completions of Solo Legend or Master Lost Sectors, but what do they do? Feast of Light. You gain additional super energy from orbs of power you pick up. While your super energy is full, picking up a normal power overcharges your super, causing you to gain a burst of healing when cast, and a bonus to super damage. At maximum overcharge, you also gain an overshield. 
Now the maximum overcharge is times 8, so if you want the maximum out of your super, which is the burst of healing plus overshield and bonus to super damage, you'll have to grab 8 more orbs of power after your super is full. It's pretty easy to do if you're running strikes or seasonal activities and you're saving your super for boss damage, so keep an eye on your stacks of Feast of Light because they go away if you die. Now the mods I've equipped on this exotic are a Glaive Scavenger to try and not run out of Glaive ammo, which will happen. Also Recuperation, replenish health each time you pick up a normal power. More healing, which Orbs of Power already proc devour, so you can leave this one out if you want. And Volatile Flow, picking up a Void Elemental Well grants your Void Weapons Volatile Rounds. And last for a class item, we have the Suppressing Glaive mod from the Seasonal Artifact. Damaging combatants with your glaive suppresses them, preventing them from using abilities for a short time. This recently got a nerf because you could go around suppressing everyone with your melee glaive attack, but now it uses 10% of your glaive shield energy to suppress with melee glaive attack. Not bad at all, all you have to do is shoot the glaive every once in a while to replenish the shield energy and you're good. Next I have an overload grenade to stun overload champions, and the very last mod we have is Font of Might. Picking up a Void Elemental Well grants a temporary bonus damage to Void Weapons, again benefiting our Glaive and our Void Heavy Weapon. Alright, so now let's talk about weapons. For my Kinetic Weapon, I needed something to help me at longer range, so I decided for the Outbreak Perfectus since I recently got the Catalyst for it. You can also do a Scout Rifle or a Pulse Rifle like the new Peace of Mind from the PsyOps Battlegrounds. Also, the new Osteostriga Exotic Submachine Gun is really good in this slot. Remember that there's an Overload Champion mod for SMGs if you decide for Osteostriga, but I went with Outbreak Perfected and Unstoppable Pulse to stun Unstoppable Champions. Now the Glaive. Ok, so this weapon gets interesting because it's a craftable weapon, and you can pick whichever perks you want and you can reshape if you want to try other ones. Not gonna lie, I have reshaped quite a few times and to me the combination of Subsistence with Thresh is the best choice for this build. Yes, Rampage is good and you can do Rampage, but I love me that sweet super energy. I have to clarify something, Thresh doesn't proc with the Glaive melee, only by shooting your Glaive, which in a way is great because while surrounded with enemies, your Glaive melee gives you super energy with the Echo of Reprisal fragment. So we got both ends covered to get lots of super energy. Subsistence gives you back ammo from reserves with each kill, and Thresh gives you super energy with each kill, so as long as you have ammo and you don't miss a shot, you can keep shooting your Glaive at low level enemies and getting super energy. Also, the Origin Trade Psycho Hack lowers the target's damage output with sustained damage, which is great for bosses and champions. You'll see the target glow red when Psycho Hack is active. And I also have a boss spec mod on this weapon so I can go stab stab on bosses. Moving on to our heavy weapon. We're almost there, guys. There's many choices for a heavy weapon. It all depends on the activity and your playstyle, but I definitely recommend something void to take advantage of Volatile and the Elemental Will's damage buff part of the build. One weapon I've been having lots of fun with is the new Iron Banner Sword Razor's Edge with Relentless Strikes, which gives me ammo back with light attacks, and Chain Reaction, which makes everything blow up in Void. Super fun weapon. Also, light attack kills with the sword will make you invisible if you have volatile rounds or if the enemy is weakened, suppressed, or volatile. I'm telling you, you gotta try this. You can also go for a good quick fang if you don't have this sword, which is also void or the Void Red Herring Rocket Launcher for some good boss damage. The choice is yours. Now, before we recap, I just wanted to mention that on my stats, I have Intellect maxed out because I'm going for extra fast supers. Okay, so with this Void Hunter build, we're going to be using and abusing our Glaive. Glaive melee kills while surrounded gives us super energy with the Echo of Reprisal, while long range Glaive kills gives us super energy with Thresh. Our Glaive suppresses targets with the Suppressing Glaive mod, and defeating a Suppress, Weaken, or Volatile target makes us invisible with the Stylus Executioner aspect. Our invisibility and Devour has increased duration with the Echo of Persistence, while both Vortex Grenade kills and Void Elemental Wells grants Volatile rounds to our Glaive. Orbs of Power will grant us Devour with the Echo of Starvation plus extra super energy with our Star Eater Scales Exotic Boots for extra fast supers. And there it is my friends, a super fun glaive build for the Hunter with Void 3.0, a complete opposite to my last video which was all about keeping your distance from enemies, this one puts you up close with the enemy using the glaive. 
I hope you liked this video and found it informative. If you did, a like and heavy attack on that subscribe button is much appreciated, and it helps the channel fight the evil algorithm. Also, if you love the Destiny universe as much as I do, consider joining my new Discord community down in the description. I want to thank you all for watching, my name is Tavius Plays, and if you want to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click right here.